Hello friends. Happy Friday. So I had a good friend of mine say that he really enjoys the Friday rambles but he doesn't like the cigar and he wishes that I would get rid of the cigar and do a pipe. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a Rick Blackmorta by the way. But it's Friday, so what I've got here is a diesel, if you can see that, diesel D5, and uh, I don't smoke these very often, they're pretty stout if I recall, I just was in the mood for something different, there's the, the band on that, if you can see it. It's a good Friday. Turn the air off so I can get this lit. So today is the last work day before I go on Monday to get my cataracts taken care of. And I'm very much looking forward to that because I'd like to be able to see again. Now, get this air conditioning back on because it's hot. It's uh, close to 80 degrees today. And uh, I'll show you the outside. By the way, you're at a bit of a weird angle here. I had a phone issue. I had to plug it into the charger and I can't get it to sit in the normal way. Hopefully that won't be too disconcerting. Um, yeah, I'll try to I'll try to fix it <coughs> when I when I edit the video. But uh, yeah, so cataract surgery is on Monday, so technically, I'll at least in, with my right eye be able to see with uh, with without glasses. Uh, I still need glasses to read, but for distance, it's it's not going to be an issue. And I'm thinking, man, as soon as that happens, I am going to uh, I'm going to schedule a fishing trip because I have not been fishing in years uh, for various health reasons but but this year it's been that I just can't see I, I can't see to put a fly on a on a line so this morning I wind up with this <laughs> so I have a tennis elbow despite the fact that I've never touched a tennis racket probably from fly casting and maybe computer use or whatever but uh, this is my casting arm and it ain't working so good uh, in fact I'm wearing this brace to allow me to do the uh, to, to drive the stick shift so we will have to see how things go at any rate let's uh, let's get out of here and get on the road um, it's a little bit after 5 o'clock right now, so the traffic's probably going to be hopping. But that's okay. I might take a circuitous route home just for fun. I'm not in any great hurry to get home. Uh, that doesn't sound very nice. Of course, I, I'm looking forward to being home, but I don't have any plans for this evening. Um, my wife and I are just gonna have dinner and stay in. So there's no reason to rush home, I guess is what I'm saying. So, I really wanna go fishing and it looks like there's yet another thing that's gonna prevent me from getting out on the stream. And, you know, this is, this is one of these sorts of things that you gotta, you gotta learn something from it. You gotta, when bad stuff happens, and not that this is terrible bad stuff, but you know, when bad stuff happens, you, you, you gotta find that silver lining. Otherwise, you've, you've missed an opportunity. You know, there should always be an opportunity for growth and learning. And you know, what this is telling me is that you gotta, you gotta roll with the punches. You gotta take what life gives you and, and just keep moving 
you know, sure it's disappointing that I'm not going to be scheduling a fishing trip, but I'm still going to be able to see. <laughs> That's pretty good. And, uh, you know, even if I can't go fishing in June, there, there's, there's some fantastic fall trout fishing in Pennsylvania, so I got that to look forward to. Here, we're going the opposite direction to what we normally go. We'll see how this works out. So yeah, there's some, you know, there, there, there certainly is fishing to be had. But, uh, eh, I don't know. Not going to be on the time frame that I wanted it to be. Well, who am I to say what time frame things should run on? Oh, that's right, they changed this road up here. Hey, we might get lost. That'll be fun. You know, we always want things to go on our our time. We always want to have what we want when we want it. Turn up here. Without any delay, uh, instant gratification. And, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes it's good to delay that gratification. I don't like to make left turns against traffic and people behind me get a little upset, but I'd rather wait until I have the lamp. I was, many years ago, in a really really scary accident where I was making a left-hand turn across two lanes of traffic similar to what we got here but there was no light and a car came barreling around a curve on the other side of the road I did not see this car at all until it hit me it hit the rear panel of my car actually threw the car into the parking lot that I was trying to get into and the car landed on a pickup truck that back passenger uh, window was smashed into, you know, over to the other side of the car. If I had hit just a foot further in the forward direction, that would have been my head. And, uh, you know, I was able to walk out of this thing. I had a concussion, but that's about it. And uh, while that was... Gosh, that had to be close to 25 years ago now. It's one of those things that sticks with you and uh, makes it difficult to make those kinds of turns anymore. Uh, still, you know, I just panic when I... Not panic, but I, I'm just overly cautious. And if I'm not, I don't feel good. So I'm not going to drive in a way that makes me uncomfortable uh, just to please the guy behind me. And, you know, that kind of goes back to the instant gratification thing. You know, these people, people want to get wherever they're going as fast as they can, even if they don't have a good reason to, to do that. And I don't know. I, I, sometimes people race past me and swerve around me, and you know, then I'm behind them at the red light. What, what's the point? You're one car length further than you would have been if you just drove like a normal, civilized person. I think that, uh, you know, we've all taken on a hobby in, in pipe smoking and to, to a certain extent cigar smoking where you know, we, we do a lot of things that require patience. Um, you know, aging tobacco. Uh, not, not something that's going to happen on your time frame. Uh, just in just smoking a pipe, smoking a cigar, you, you don't light a cigar if you don't have an hour to enjoy it. Well, maybe you do if you're crazy, but you're going to wind up throwing away a lot of money.
So yeah, we tend to be more cognizant of, of time and more patient with things, I think. I think that's one of the things that our hobby teaches us. And there's been a lot of a lot of little memes and quotes about how it provides, you know, the time that it takes to take a puff on a pipe is it gives you time to think. And yeah, it's probably true. When you're in a conversation and you're smoking a pipe, you you have an excuse to be quiet for a little bit and think. And it's it's kind of weird that we live in a world where the, you need a prop to do that. You know, conversations tend to be so fast-paced. You, you can't get a word in edgewise, and if, if you if you wait for the the time to break into a conversation, sometimes the conversation's over. You have to almost be be rude and obnoxious to get your point across these days. I don't know what's behind that. I don't know why everything's just revved up to you know, full, full acceleration all the time. And that means that we want what we want right now. I really want to go fishing. I'd like to go this weekend, but I, I know it would be a pointless thing. I mean, not only can't I see, but now I can't cast. And who knows, maybe by, by next weekend this will be fine. I don't know. But I know I will eventually fish. And I will just enjoy it all the more when it finally happens. So, I've been thinking about something. Um, you know, I, I, I've got the, um, the YouTube videos and, and a lot of that now is just me yakking. Uh, just because, for, for various reasons that I won't go into, but you know, I, I started off and I, I did do a lot of how-to and, and you know, pipe restoration and all that. And that's really why I wanted to start the channel. And then I started a blog, and the reason I started the blog was there were things that I wanted to go into in, in more detail. You know, things that just really didn't fit well with, with the video format. You know, stuff like the geometry of the airway way and stuff like that that, I, that I've written about on my blog. And uh, I haven't been doing much blog writing lately. Uh, I'm working on a piece right now on uh, retort salt treatment and ghosts. So if you're one of the two people that read my blog, you'll, you can look forward to that and then in, in the coming weeks. But I've been thinking, you know, I've been getting... It's really loud. I've been getting... Um, obviously, I did not take the low traffic way home today. Uh, there's a reason I'm going this way, though. Um, I'm doing this for uh, Southwest, Southwest Aficionado. I hope you're watching, Micah. So... I, I, I get comments all the time on videos, and, and I love them. I'm really grateful for them. But they're, they often are asking questions that I've answered, you know, and I wind up saying, oh, watch this video, i got to go look up the video, and, or, or look at my blog, and I have to go find the blog post and all that. And I, I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like there's any way to get this information together in a form that is readily accessible. Like, there's always the... Oh, maybe it's because people are too lazy to search for it, but I don't know how I wouldn't know how to search for it. Like I don't know if the YouTube search would. If, in fact, I know it wouldn't. You know, if, you, if you're looking for, you know, what's the best way to remove a a finish that doesn't react 
to alcohol, to, to, to grain alcohol. I know I've got that somewhere in a video, but I, you're not going to find that through the YouTube search. And you're not going to find it through a, um, a search on my blog, either. But the information's there. Um, or at least, it's in a video. I don't know if it's on the blog. And I've been thinking that, you know, I, I like writing. Maybe, maybe I should write about this stuff more. And maybe a blog isn't the right... I don't know. What, I'd, I'd like some feedback on this point. I'd really like your feedback. Because um, I write a lot. I mean, I basically write for a living. Uh, that's not entirely true, but I, I do a lot of technical writing in my job. Um, always have. And I enjoy it. I enjoy editing. I, uh, I'm one of those weird people that actually likes the, the process of writing. Um, and I know now it's possible to um, self-publish. So I, I think if I were to write a book, an actual book on, on pipes, I, I wouldn't have a prayer of getting it published because it's just not popular enough. You know, none of the none of the publishing houses are going to care about that. And I'm not looking to become a professional author by any stretch because that's just not what I do and it's not what I have time for. But I could have time to put something together in in some format that's readily accessible that you know allows one place to go for this information. And with the self-publishing uh, platforms that places like Amazon have now, you can put that together, and it can be a, a Kindle download, or uh, they also have services now where you can print hard copies of the book and get hard copies and they can be printed on demand so you don't have to pay up front to get all that stuff now of course there is cost associated with all that so then there'd be a lot of time that I'd have to invest in it so it wouldn't be you know free but it would be I think more convenient anyway I, it's just a thought that I had over the past week and I I don't know if it makes sense or not. Let me know what you think. This traffic is really proving my point about delayed gratification. Well, we're going to keep going. I know I have a limited space on my, my phone, so I'm not going to be able to uh, keep this up forever. But, uh, well, I've actually already gone quite a while, haven't I? Boy, this is not going very well. Anyway, folks, hopefully by now I will have inserted the footage uh, that I wanted to. And I've yacked at you long enough. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And I'll, uh, I'll hopefully see you on Sunday. So until then, everyone take care. I'll talk to you soon.